Welcome back. This is Still Depressed coming to you live from the Abuja studios of Kaftan TV. Right about now, we've been joined by a guest with whom we're going to be uh, doing the details, going to the, into the analysis of some of the headlines we have read to you. His name is Femi Jubal, an entrepreneur and the president of uh, Brothers Lifting Brothers Foundation. You're welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Nick. Good, good morning, morning, Femi. Welcome to the program. It's good to be, great to be here again. Thank yeah, you. And, um, a lot has been happening in Nigeria mm. for some time, uh, from uh, the from so many uh, monies suddenly getting uh, allocated to uh, projects that had been there for several years, uh, but in the context of this administration for eight years, um, a lot of um, back and forth. The presidential election uh, tribunal. Uh, we saw the episode that happened at the at the federal high court two days ago where the interim uh, the acting chairman was uh, was assaulted and uh, lynched but then um i want us to start from uh the proposed census that was um uh postponed that was postponed now uh the national populations commission they've come out to say that um uh, with the postponement of the census 200 billion naira was spent this is coming at a time when we are looking at when when we are looking at trying to cut down the cost of governance this is coming at a time when we are looking at when we are looking at uh, when we are looking at the uh, naira falling further against the dollar this is coming at a time where in some states some civil servants some civil servants have not been paid for five months now the national populations commission have said they spent 200 billion naira on a census that never happened mm -hmm. i mean i want us to i don't know maybe from my own uh, perspective but maybe from your own perspective maybe you can help us um uh, put a rationale uh, to to this maybe there's there uh, there's a way the monies can be uh, spent in advance and maybe when the to set up yeah, to, when set up, yeah, yeah. to set up uh, apparatus and then uh, to add what he has said and uh, before you came on the program we were actually trying to analyze it but then we said we'll reserve the question for you um francis said it's relative to you going to the hospital to actually say you want to see a doctor but then of course you didn't end up seeing a doctor and then you pay for it because it's one thing if you've delegated people to go to states to say oh yes the census is happening in a few days but then you guys have moved the census over to another time mm. and then now you are coming out to say you spent 200 billion naira for what exactly actually that's I, that's like madness mm. as far as i'm concerned <laughs> first and foremost i when, when i saw that a census was going to, was going to take place mm -hmm. it was something that uh, i was delighted because mm -hmm. i believe that if, if i were to be a governor of a state okay. or a president the first thing i'm going to do is a census mm. okay. because data collection is very important okay. and you have to know the number of people the demography the age you know groups and who is this who is that okay. so you can know how to now reach out to them and impact them in terms of basic amenities and all that mm. so when i saw that i was very happy but i also know that in nigeria everything is inflated mm. Mm. it's normal here you know the abnormal has become normal, normal. Mm. so now you telling me the truth is I, I'm, I'm involved in a lot of events management stuff and projects so mm -hmm. i understand that even before something take pl takes place yes. you have spent some money to set up the apparatus mm -hmm. for the successful execution of that thing mm -hmm. but then when you tell me that 200 billion mm -hmm. was pumped into setting up the apparatus for a census that never took place mm. then that's that's quite suspicious but then we know that there is no such thing as accountability in this part of, the, this world. Part of like the world yeah. everybody will just they will talk about it for a few weeks and everybody will move we on because next as far as i'm concerned especially in this dispensation corruption is like our middle name mm. Mm. Uh, speaking of corruption, I like the fact that you said corruption is our middle name. There's been lots of back and forth between Zaf Zafara governor and um, EFCC boss um, saying um, there's a 70 billion naira fraud. <laughs> okay, so in this case, he's a sitting governor. And then in the case of the 200 billion naira, this has now happened. So now, there's, how do you um, analyze, expose me if you have any proof? That's coming from the EFCC boss himself. That's a Nigerian Tribune this morning. Bawa must quit now. Face probe panel over 150 CSOs tell the federal government and this is not the first time Bawa is actually having issue 
we've, we've seen cases of in uh, the court actually um, asking, demanding for his arrest. But mm. I'd like to take your own overview. And uh, that. just to add to what um, uh, Messi has said, if we, if we go back in time and look at all the previous um, uh, EFCC chairmen, none of them have left the office without uh without having a having Court an issue case. to mm -hmm. answer to mm -hmm. now are we about to see <laughs> are we about to see uh, lightning striking on the same uh, spot more than twice again okay so now you look at a, an agency of government mm. okay. nigeria is a very dramatic society and i like to look at things from the causative factor Mm -hmm. Before I look at the effect. So now you look at an agency of government that has been saddled with the with the authority mm -hmm. to handle corruption, you know, whether private, public, government and all that. And when you look at the head headline, they are exchanging words with a governor. So it means that you have not done your due diligence. Mm -hmm. So you can have facts. Mm -hmm to hold on to when you are addressing this governor because as far as that is concerned in the public domain mm -hmm. it's a speculation mm. notwithstanding mm. we all know that there are people i don't know if he's the one going to book lunch mm. and um, giving 300 million, 300 or something yeah. million for someone else's book lunch now, anything mm. goes in this country mm. Mm. because the agencies i've said it the last time i was here the sis the only institution that is working in nigeria is religious institution mm. Mm. That's the only situation that when something happens, you can say yes, yes, yes. Everybody will run out of skelter so somebody is not offended. Mm. Mm. But when it gets to these things, because at the end of the day, I tell you the truth. This is the end result. Mm. They will talk about it and exchange words. This is actually an insult that EFCC <laughs> is mm. exchanging words. Really Where are your evidence? Mm. Take your evidence, arrest him if he has done something wrong, and then let justice be served. Mm. Okay, please, all that thought why we quickly take this call. Good morning. Thank you for calling the press. Good morning. We'll go, we'll go from fake furniture. Okay, all right. Please we'll go with me. Join on the conversation this morning. Yeah, actually, I want to uh, have a take on the inauguration and some other challenges or people are raising up. I, what I can actually say is that uh, it is uh, clear that uh, a lot of citizens of Nigeria do not really understand or are ignorant of the real how the workings and system of government Nigeria works. Mm -hmm. So uh, if really that uh, in our schools or in churches or communities we explain about the constitution, how government is elected and how government is enthroned and uh, and removed. I mean, this is the idea of threatening that there will be inauguration will not be coming. Just a lot of people are ignorant of how this system operates. And I think it's high time those in charge begin to educate citizens of Nigeria about the true position and legal position and constitution of Nigeria. So that we start fooling ourselves that the election is done and somebody is saying it can be, the inauguration will not take place because it's in the court and things like that. It's a sign that. They are ignorant of the true position of Nigeria mm -hmm. system of doing things as politics or governance is concerned. So I pray and I say, let there have the time for people to be well educated in this things. Even some politicians are also victims of this and they pray. They don't even know the... the, the okay, we lost that call, please. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to hear your own analysis about what the last caller said. I think, you know, last time I was here, I talked mm. about uh, education and orientation. Education yeah. and, orientation. and when you look at our collective uh, consciousness as a people, as a society, you would, you would know that our priorities are misplaced. Mm. I have addressed this issue several times on social media live sessions that I organize, and people tell me it's coping mechanism. Mm. So you understand that we are in desperate times, and desperate times require desperate measures. Desperate mm -hmm. measures. But, are, but now you see that entertainment is now the priority mm. for mm. Nigerians. So now we see it as that's our coping me okay. mechanism. Mm. But then the same Nigerians tell you they want a you know transformed society and all that. So well, your priorities are misplaced. You want to transform society, but entertainment is your priority. Mm. One of my friends, Ambassador, I'm sure you know him, talked mm. about the three elements that are very pivotal to developing a society. Mm. The first one is education. Education. Mm -hmm. People it's don't even know their constitution. Yeah. A mm. policeman cannot just come and arrest me. Mm. Mm. There are there are you know, rules of engagement, and then the second one is entrepreneurship, mm. and then the third one is entertainment. Mm. So, but here it is entertainment number one, number entertainment one. number two, entertainment number three, and that's why who are the people that are you know 
galloping all our social media space hmm. comedy skit makers and all that so the color is right we are not educated people in terms of our rights our constitution you know what we need to do what the government expects from us hmm. that is a priority we are in desperate times hmm. and the politicians know this hmm. they know that we are ignorant people that's why they can you know do all their dramas and get our attention and then go to, you know but would you say it has gotten better because um, I would say with the last election I've seen people gear up and actually read and I've had serious conversations with people and you see them even quoting this uh, constitution, constitution no, 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 and no, 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 everything, that, everything like that and people well, know now it's, yes. it's way better than before. It's way agree. better than before yeah. but it is it, it is not um, as far as I'm concerned the okay. state where we are now mm. it should be better than this. Now mm. ignorance anger people are angry yeah. anger mm. anger is a force for change mm. Mm -hmm. it's very important that you're angry that's like the first force for causing a revolution mm. but anger mixed with ignorance will produce something totally totally different from transformation and that's mm. we are at the state of state anger mm. and we are refusing to mix our anger Channeling with information, information mm. knowledge yes. we're just angry i don't like the government i hate them mm. so information get information first mm. before you now address the government N now, now talking about anger uh, and um, information we all saw what happened at the high court uh, now i'm talking about the uh, leadership uh, crisis in the labor labor party right now we all saw what happened whereby where a case is already before a court of competent jurisdiction or hearing is already uh, ongoing hearing is already underway now and then we have that uh, mammoth crowd uh, storming the uh, storming the courtroom to uh, lynch an acting uh, chairman that was uh, that 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 is recognized by the law because the court of competent jurisdiction gave the judgment. Now, uh, what would you say about that? Because uh, ninety five percent of the people in that very scene are also the youths mm. <laughs> are also the youths exactly so now we can see uh, we can see a case of um, anger there and misinformation hmm. what are your thoughts you. on this the first thing is you know I, I, I during the campaign i did a lot of live sessions and i addressed people and then i was accused of you know you are tinumbu you are mm. this i'm not for any I'm, I'm not a member of apc mm. Mm -hmm. not a member of pdp i'm not a member of labor party i just want to make sure that i am that structure of reasoning the mm. voice of reasoning mm. so when you are thinking like an extreme partisan i can bring you back to the balance and equilibrium mm. so what i see is in the obedience is this now you tell me that you are the you represent a new nigeria mm. and the change to something totally different from the current status quo mm. but your methods are not different mm -hmm. in any way mm. from the current status quo talking about methods sorry to cut you short now in the course of your uh, submission you may want to uh, you may want to explain more mm. about that method in particular. The method, like one, what, what you just mentioned. Mm. Now, it, it, something the, the, when it comes to Nigeria, mm. the proper way is you're not you're not um, in agreement with the result of the election. Mm -hmm. You go to the tribunal. Yeah. So now you are sending thugs to go and attack someone. So how are you different mm. from the same APC PDP you are accusing? Mm. so mm. because break change is is inevitable and mm. change requires sacrifice mm. so if you want change there has to be a totally different order there has mm. to be a new order and it requires sacrifice you don't want to make that sacrifice but you want to criticize the current status quo but your methods are not different from them mm. so people like me who are just voice of reasoning mm. we suspect you mm. that you are going to be worse than the current status quo hmm. because I, I tell you what revolution hmm. must be mixed with knowledge and information hmm. if not it's going to be from one disaster to another hmm. so i would not open my eyes and let nigeria move from because we're in fry pan right now mm -hmm. i've heard people tell me uh, the things that buari did you may not know it now uh, <laughs> after he leaves well isn't mm. that what everybody you, says for you every will see it. Mm. this is the stupidest thing anybody can tell me mm. i Rufai did all I, I've, I've been to kaduna mm. amazing work in kaduna i can see it mm. show me what buari has done Hmm. It's a monumental failure. Okay, hmm. please hold it out while we can <laughs> take this call. Good morning. Thank you for calling the press. Yeah, good morning. Yes, please. Your name and where you're calling from? Samuel from Gogolada. All right, please join in on the conversation. Hello. 
Hello, we can hear you. Please join in on the conversation in 60 seconds. Yeah, uh, I want to talk about Motale. Okay, okay. please. Yeah, Mota Motale was a governor who got it on the platter of gold because of the crisis between APC. Who would have originally been the winner of that election? So he was, you know, just, he was just given to become a governor under PDP. Okay. And he, he got there with a mindset of looting. Hmm. And uh, that was the reason why immediately he, you know, he deviated to join APC. Hmm. You know, pretending that uh, APC will help him to fight uh, the bandits. With, 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 with. And uh, the reason was just mainly to loot. Hmm. So he believed that getting APC because one of the top officials did mention that uh, as soon as whatever crime you committed, once you are in APC, you are free. That was the under that platter of gold that he, he went there and filmed. Now, they are just talking of 70, 70 billion. More are coming. Hmm. More are coming. Let us keep watch. That's the one we Thank have. you very much. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. I would like to pick from his book where he said, the uh, moment it, you are a fraud star, yeah. you mm. run into uh, APC on, and then you, are, you they cover you up. The reason I agree with him is because, okay. you know, one of the things that the, the masses are not getting is this. Okay. We are overlooking the business of politics. Mm. Mm. We think that politics is just about, so you appoint people, they restructure the country, they make policies. Politics is also business. Mm. And business is an integral aspect of politics. Mm. So politicians are not necessarily there to solve problems. They create problems. Mm. Because it is in creating problems that they get rewarded. Mm. Uh, they are not there to uh, um, um, stop crises, to manage crises. Mm. They manufacture crises. Mm. So we have this where, where our society is imbalanced. Mm. Because our expectations of politicians are so ridiculous that the people are so weak and they are expecting this messianic oh politician to save them. Save them. But politicians are not after that. They're after their pockets. Mm. The politics is about interest. Mm. And that's it. You can imagine a state like Zamfara, for instance, where the poverty rate is just all over the roof. And then you're talking about 70 billion. You know what 70 billion can do? Mm. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> All mm. right. Okay, let's quickly take this uh, call again. Good morning. Thank you for calling the press. Good morning. This is Alaba calling from Zogoto. All right, please, Alaba, join in on the conversation in 60 seconds. Uh, uh, good morning. I want to first of all appreciate the man you brought that it, uh, it's, uh, yet he is back in the current uh, issues of Nigeria. Mm. All right. Thank you. God bless you. Thank but you. Let me talk about, I have been talking and I have been clamoring on the state of this country. Mm. You see, there is no time I think of Nigeria, I don't shed tears. Mm. It's not, it's not about me, it's about the, the, the generation that is coming after us. You see, I, I get baffled at the way we do things in this country. I, I asked a question yesterday, do we really have the law in this nation? Hmm. Asu was clamoring for 200 billion. I remember vividly, a governor said they cannot because of Asu borrow the money to solve the problem of Asu. But here is a, a national population census. If they are, if they are, and the trial has not been conducted, you are spending 200 billion. Hmm. Are we crazy in this country? Hmm. What is wrong with us in this nation for God's sake? And look, let me tell you, the problem is just that these people are not accountable. We make them by God. Like the, 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 the man, the journalist we brought, we say, we are, we are illiterate. Nigerians are illiterate. We should ask these people questions. They are not God. We, we put them in power and we make them God. They That's why they see they can do whatever. Now, on, on, on the second note, this legislatives or whatever you call them, this house of favor and that's all. What are they legislating? What is it that they have been doing all this while? Do we see any any visible thing that they are, they are legislating? These guys are wrong. They are things. Hmm. And I'm telling you, what is the worst thing? This administration is the worst thing that has ever put to this country. Hmm. All of us are aware. Now, what happened in the, in the court the other day that you said you said? It is the anger, the level of anger. People are angry. Hmm. This country is not working. The system is not working. Why is a monumental failure? Now look at what Sudan said. He said the, 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 the people who are supposed to be protecting life are probably they are talking bandits. Please be careful with your words, Alaba. Please, I'm trying to tone down your words. It's a bad, bad situation. 
Mm. Okay. Nigeria is not working. I just pray that God will make it to work. We are in a serious mess. Amen. We do pray for that. Thank you very much, um, Alaba. Uh, can Lame I make a comment about okay. that? Yes, I believe that one of the things that can that one of the things that will fix a society is active citizenship. Mm. Okay. It is very imperative mm. that citizens are actively involved mm. and they don't leave everything to politicians. Mm. Now the citizens have been told that they should leave it to God. Mm. Mm. That's the thing. So religion now, like I said, the only institution that is working in Nigeria is now is religion. Mm. Mm. That's that's why a church can raise ten billion naira in one night and mm. a mosque can raise six million dollars in less than two hours now why mm. can't the church and the mosque come together to raise money for, for entrepreneurs and raise money for us to no <laughs> so that's the only thing that is working yeah so now because people now believe that just pray to god he will fix it prayer does not i say some things like, i'm a religious man and people okay. wonder mm. prayer does not fix any system mm. It is people that fix the system. Your prayer is personal to you. Your prayer, however it is, you meditate, you are Hindu, Muslim, Christian, whoever you are, mm. when you pray, it helps you to connect with your divine center. Mm. And then it helps you to be a human being. Mm. In Nigeria, we have more people who are vampires than human beings. Okay. And then you begin, to, it causes a ripple effect on society. Okay. That's mm. what prayer does. Mm. So uh, telling God, fix our power supply, uh, touch the hearts of our leaders. This is, this is, no, it doesn't make any sense. All right, now, um, uh, Femi, you played a fast one on media because i was definitely <laughs> going to, yeah i was i was definitely going to talk about uh, citizenship and um, patriotism but i uh, wanted to take it from another uh, perspective 200 billion naira uh, spent on a census that never happened and there's a back and forth between the efcc boss and um, uh, uh, governor Bello matawali over uh, is uh, over uh, 70 billion naira uh, that has been misappropriated Elsewhere, we are looking at um, the first lady who just commissioned a building named the uh, African First Ladies first lady uh, Af African First Ladies uh, Building, where that uh, project was funded from is still uh, is still is still unknown. In the midst of this, resident doctors, their strike has entered day two. What are your what what are your thoughts on now, this? You know this. I I, the, I am the president of Brothers Lifting Brothers Foundation. And based on that, we have a program for boys, which is mentorship students, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then I have a lot of young people, 15, mm. 16, 17, even girls, chat mm -hmm. with me, and then they tell me about how they don't believe in God, mm -hmm. and I ask them, why don't you believe in God? And like I look at my parents and I'm like, no, there is nothing good about these people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now you have a country where half of the population are in mosque on Friday. I'm going for Jumat after this. Mm. Half of the population are in church on Sunday. Mm. And then look at the country. Look mm. at the country. People are doing things that are, they speak of madness. Mm. No accountability structure. And then they come to you and tell you about God. How we need God. We need God. So you can, so, so if, because in another, in Sena climbs, you cannot do something and not be in a position to be held accountable Can't for it. it. Yeah. And then it favors a few and the many are neglected. Like, look at, I don't know if we should talk about uh, the, the, the shale matter, for instance, because mm. there are a lot of boys out there. The Yahoo Yahoo boys that are being arrested every day. I don't support Yahoo Yahoo, by the way. I'm not in for any of those things. But the Yahoo Yahoo boys, if the same pressure is mounted on politicians, our first ladies or so what whatever who are building erecting structures and projects that cannot be accountable for nigeria will be a better place hmm. so you don't focus on the weak and then you you now leave the the elite out of it because hmm. religious leaders and politicians are the beneficiaries of our so-called demonstration of craziness hmm. okay I, I like the fact that still speaking about doctors you know um this week one of the papers the national dailies has um, said they've passed a bill where um would ban doctors from migrating out of the country and then that bill was rejected what's your take about i'm, I'm happy the bill was rejected mm -hmm. because it, the truth is you cannot be i have doctor friends who okay. went to the university they went to medical school and a doctor that takes care of a human being mm. is the psychology involved mm. Mm. now he doesn't even have enough money mm. to run his daily affairs and he's a human being he's not mm. good do you think that he would perform? And he needs to take care and of others. Because, because the politicians will travel out of Nigeria, mm. even if their kids have a knee injury. Mm. 
mm. they take them out of Nigeria. Well, the, the argument was that they said, um, you let's take for instance, you, you attend Obafemi Aulawa University and then you pay public si roughly 650,000 naira per session for school fees. I'm just saying roughly, mm. and then you travel out, and then the school fees there is about ten thousand mm. dollars, and then you have used the little amount of school fees you've paid in nigeria mm. to go and treat people abroad mm. and they're saying oh they have limited doctors now we have more of quacks on ground but then at the end of the day you are not even the federal government is still not doing what the doctors are requesting for so do you think there should be like a reshuffle given that the minister of um Igege himself mm. is mm. in the medical doctor and then nothing has been done i, I like to address issues from the from the cause not mm. the effects mm. the, the, now there is no fairness and justice in nigeria mm. Mm. There is no fairness and justice. The, the, the category of people that should be well taken care of in any society, I tell you, doctors are part of them, yes. teachers are part teachers. of them. Yeah, but then these the are the two the security agencies. The security agencies. These mm. are the two categories and the rest of them that are relegated when it comes to welfare, when it comes to pay. Mm. And politicians. Who some of them even try to travel out of Nigeria sometimes, they don't attend sittings, mm. are the ones who are living luxury <coughs> lifestyle. So do you think there should be so a law banning politicians from traveling for medical purposes? Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. You know, I was, um, I was talking to someone uh, a few days ago and um, he said um, uh, he want, he, he's, he's, still try, he's still trying to uh, phantom why uh, whenever uh, our senators, some of our politicians, they come around and um, commission uh, eight blocks of uh, classrooms, <laughs> uh, commission uh, two boreholes in uh, in in some communities. He's he, like he's wondering why uh, why Nigerians are always singing their praises. And um, he said he got the opportunity to uh, he was at the commissioning of one of such uh, projects, and um, uh, he asked the senator. I would do, I wouldn't want to mention his name on air now. He asked the senator that um, sir, this um, school that you have um, commissioned here now uh, that everybody is um, singing your praises can you send your son uh, can you send your son down here can you take a transfer for your son who's still in secondary school to come and complete his um, secondary school uh, education and um, even before he finished um, a asking the security protocols of the um, of the senator bundled him out <laughs> of that um, very uh, uh, that uh, premises now in the midst of this now where is the what is the place of um, patriotism what mm. is the place of um, citizenship mm. uh, looking at the fact that um, Nigeria as we speak now uh, we are short we are understaffed in the medical uh, department mm -hmm. be it the nurse the doctors, the auxiliary nurses, ev we are heavily understaffed. Mm. I mean, and according to, uh, I think according to the uh, to the Nigeria Medical Medical Association, uh, uh, right now we are running on a one doctor to five thousand uh, Nigerian uh, Nigerians uh, ratio uh, right now. Where's the place of um, citizen citizenship and um, patriotism? Being that um, most of these doctors now uh, are actively seeking to seeking uh, greener uh, pastures yeah. mm. while uh, we exactly. need their services mm. here back home now, now people have the right to mm. seek greener pasture mm. we all want improvement progress in our lives mm. so you have no right to stop people when there are other you know pressing issues to address mm -hmm. mm. nigeria is divided into two groups mm. the religious political elites and their allies mm. Mm. and then the people mm. Yeah. So the people are the victims of the excesses of the religious political elites and their allies. Mm. Because it is only in Nigeria that a side chick of somebody can call somebody in her power mm. to punish somebody for her. Mm. Yeah, it's the truth. Mm. So the yeah. people are the ones paying the price for the excesses of these other people. Mm. So in the medical field, for instance, and that's why, you know, people, when the people must wake up in their consciousness, the collective consciousness of the people, we must mm. take cognizance of that. Mm. There are many distractions in Nigeria. I believe that many of these shows that you are seeing, mm. they are sponsored distractions. Mm. Mm. Like for instance, I was complaining about during the, the campaign and election, mm. they had big brother uh, show mm. during our election. Mm. 
It's a distract. It's a sponsored distraction. But you have to give it up to Nigerians because at this particular point, people didn't actually pay attention to this. Yeah, but then there was still a level of it should not hold at all. Mm. Because South Africa will not let Nigerians, Nigerians be in their, in their country, country during an election. Mm. But it, it works in Nigeria because the majority of the people are so they are so down when it comes to you know their intellectual capacity mm. that they just want entertainment. Mm. Just give me a comedy skit with a woman with this big thing and that I'm fine. And the politicians know this. Mm. So the people must salvage what is left and secure their future by standing up and saying, No, I am going to invest in things that are more important, more important than all these things now, now speaking about citizens let's move to an nigerian tribune one of the headlines this morning court remands shionkuti for additional four days <laughs> you've mentioned it earlier on and then we've seen cases of um lots of back and forth and now i would like to relate it with um one of the tweets from one of the um one of the tweets from Prince Olumu Yuade Jobi, I'm sure he's one of the PROs, and then he's made mention about a video about um, Spyro. He said this is indeed unprofessional and ridiculous. This video will be sent to relevant offices and units to fish him out. He will stop some deployment or attachment to SAP. You can imagine him guess an inspector of police moving with and opening the door for mm. him well basically it's because um they saw there's a video of a police officer opening the door for one of the nigerian mm. um entertainers mm. and then in cases where they're supposed to actually let's use the word gyrate well the thing is what i see in the police uh, you know institution in nigeria at the moment mm -hmm. you know because there's no trust mm. okay. i don't know if they have gotten into a quantum leap of change mm. Mm. and they are trying to effect that change mm. i don't know mm. okay. if they are, i don't know if they are just trying to flex their muscles because if you want to do all these things i think that even the police institution itself needs a lot of sweeping mm. the sweeping mm. must begin from within your house mm. because come on man we have seen videos several videos of people abused molested by police officers mm -hmm. it did not get this much swift attention mm. like it is getting now from i don't support any i will never slap any policeman mm. but the truth is i've seen police officers that even if they come to me and say we want to arrest you mm. i will not go with them because mm. the way they look their attitude mm. their behavior so i think the police should look into all these things and it's be pari mm -hmm. with addressing abuse against police officers police and also against brutality against the people against it must people. be holistic so mm -hmm. you don't just make it like you know we are ready for change but we want to start with citizens no the citizens it, it should, doesn't work it that should way. start uh, start from starts, your house uh, from take from responsibility hmm. yeah all right thank you very much all right, all right now um finally in uh, two minutes there's no way we can have the show without talking about the preparations uh, for the big day on May uh, 29. Uh, in the midst of this, we still have a section of the of Nigerians uh, calling for the swearing in not uh, to not to happen uh, due to the grievances with the electoral uh, process, which is already before the tribunal. By the way, what are your thoughts on this in uh, two minutes? Because I'll, I'll tell you, of far I'll tell you the genesis of, genesis of that mm. in Nigeria. Um, I'm not an APC member, mm. <laughs> so okay, you have to clarify that. In Nigeria, we tolerate a lot of things. Mm. We talk about free speech, mm. yeah? But we have taken our free speech to the extent where it is creating chaos in society. Mm. Now, you have prophets making fake prophecies. A prophet can confident the election is going to, not going to take place in Nigeria, mm. and he's not arrested. That's a threat to national security. National security. Mm. You have people can inauguration will not happen, mm. prophets. So we have to address this in first from the people, from the perspective of the religious institutions and their mm. figures mm. who come up and tell you, no, my God told me. Mm. You, they are creating division, chaos and crisis in society. Mm. To May 28 or 29 is going, going to happen. happen. Mm. If, I were, if I were in charge of any security agency in Nigeria, if you say anything, whether you are a prophet, whoever you think you are, mm. I will arrest you and lock you up. Mm. Because it means that you have an agenda or you have a plan. Mm. If you are not satisfied with the results of this election, there are appropriate protocols, protocols. that you can observe and mm. you know deal with that. And then because, you know, then trust again. They believe that everything is settled. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much for thank that. You so thank much. you so much. Thank you so much for joining us at the program this morning. Uh, but before we go, let's quickly take this social media um, segment. And now we have a picture of um, someone's tweet on Facebook, Sarki B. I cheated death today. I left Abuja after making sure a Papala Midi collects Woto Woto at the court. On my way to Lafia, Nasarawa State, I had an accident. My car is just beyond repair. Thank God I came out alive. Awesome. Yeah, there's a picture of the video um, the picture of the car 
that the car is Sangu. beyond repair. But Sangu. then there are some persons that have come out to say, oh, Kama works fast these days. Mm. The Yoruba will say, um, let me use the Yoruba word. We have lost thing. our humanity in the name of political yeah, parties. Yeah, there was a political def party. Definitely. Yes. And um, I think uh, this time around, this election, uh, electionary season really showed oh, how yeah, uh, how very low some we can be we as can Nigerians, be, yeah. as Nigerians. Sometimes, I've always, I've personally, personally, I know, I know person, I know some persons that have blocked, uh, Look, that have blocked a lot of persons let me, let because let me, of let, the, let me because of the elections. I, I saw a video of uh, Peter Obi visiting um, Dele Momo, Dele Momo, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I have friends who have blocked me on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So I looked at them, I'm like, uh, see how foolish you are. And, 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 <laughs> you know these politicians with all and just recently, just, just, yeah. just recently, <laughs> the scramble for the, uh, for the leadership of the National, the Assembly, National Assembly, the, that, I mean, the Green uh, Chambers now, Chamber. the Senate. He's going to the, the Labour Party the, people. The, the, the Senate. Uh, there was a press conference that had in attendance Julius Aburi, who is still parading himself as the national the chairman, chairman of, of the Labour Party. Party. This is the same Julius Aburi who has been sponsoring, uh, who has been sponsoring posts, who has been sponsoring interviews, calling for the truncation, f calling, ca making a call that May 29 uh, should not, not happen. Uh -huh. I really wonder, I wonder why politicians are not the problem. Hmm. Okay. The people are the problem. Hmm. When the people wake up. Hmm then politicians will sit up. Mm. That's the way it is. Politi this is the people that are the problem. Mm. Okay, well, I like that. The note we're ending on, the politicians <laughs> are not the problem. The people are the problem. The and the, the problem. The, it goes down to we as Nigerians knowing our rights, mm. being educated and being properly... Um, uh, educated basically to know that mm -hmm. yes this is what i'm entitled to this is what i should do and I, as a nigerian and this is where we come to the end or let me use francis ward this is where we draw the curtain <laughs> for the press this morning <laughs> i remain messy baba today thank you for joining us on the press Messi, even if you draw the cutting, I will still draw the cutting. The <laughs> Thank you for watching the program Thank on you. this Friday edition of the program. Do well to have a beautiful weekend ahead of you. And remember, if you are going to drink, do not drive. Okay. If you are going to drive, do Enjoy. not drink. And don't forget to take all necessary security uh, measures over the weekend. My name remains Francis Adini. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.